Some of you men have worked on my ranch and shared the crops for 20 years, and others are not so long. And I've always looked after you and protected you. And that's what I'm doing now. Just a minute, man. Let me speak to Andy. We know you've looked after us through the plague and drought. I even know you've dug down in your own pocket, paying us more for our crops than the market price. We don't doubt you'll stick with us, but already four men have been murdered by this vicious band of killers. We want to know what you'll do. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll wipe them out. Billy, come here. Man, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Billy Carson. Oh. Hi. Hi. Uh, Billy, Billy runs a spread over in King County. He's had the same trouble that we're having here. Uh, go ahead. Tell him about it, Billy. Well, about six months ago, a band of men moved in on King County and started raiding and killing, just like they're doing here now. What did you do? Yeah, we organized and ran them off. Yeah, that's what he's here for now, to help us. <laughs> Andy, somebody peeking in through the window. I'm going to have a look and see. Uh, he's going out to do a little investigation. Hey, hey, hey. Out. They're holding the meeting. Looks like they're going to organize. Organize? Why, we'll have most of them cleaned out before they have a chance to get started. Here, take a look at this map. Now, we'll raid the south end tonight. These places. These three. We'll take the Collins place first, then Taylor, then Foster's. Are we wiping them out the same as the others? The only good sharecropper is a dead one. Now, we'll ride into the Collins place from here. At the rate we're cleaning out those sharecroppers, old man Jones ain't going to have anybody living on his place. Well, he'll either be forced to sell out or get out. It's going to be a mighty sweet price for the boss. This Jones's boundary's taking the whole county. Looks like we ought to get a bigger cut. We are getting a better cut. Only the men who hired us for the job don't know it yet. Oh. That's probably the big boss. Now's as good a time as any to tell him a few things. Now you boys get in the back room. If I need any help, you know what to do. Howdy. Well, howdy. Well, I don't remember having any business with you. No, but I have business with you. Yeah? What kind? My name's Carson. I own a ranch over in King County. I dropped on over here to pay a visit to my friend Andy Jones. And now you're paying me a visit. All right, what's on your mind? Several things, but mainly the night raids on the sharecroppers. Yes, I've heard about those raids. But if you have any clues as to who's doing them, well, the sheriff's the man you want to see. I think you're the man to see. You better be careful with your talk, Carson. It'll be better if you listen. Call your men in. They might be interested in what I have to say. All right. Come on in, boys, and join the party. Carson here wants to do some talking. That's better. He seems to think that we're mixed up in the raids on those sharecroppers. I'll do the talking. All right. But let me tell you something first. We are law-abiding citizens. Good work, Jager. And we're going to finish him? Yeah, come on. Come on. Wait. Wait. I have a better idea. You know, I think he'd look better with a handkerchief tied around his face and a bullet in his back. Found on one of these sharecropper's ranches. That's a no, good idea. Let's get him out of here. Hey, Jager. Hey, Jager.
You want to do more talking, Carson? You won't get away with it, Thorn. You won't be walking around to know whether I do or not. So he's through. Who's next? Foster's place. The party's going to get more interesting as we go along. you've been so cooperative, we're going to include you in that little old blister, Andy Jones. We'll make it a clean sweep. Are you about ready to talk some more, Carson? I'll have plenty of talking to do when the right time comes, son. You better hurry, because you haven't got much time. All right, men. One more sharecropper, and then we'll attend to our friend here, an old man Jones. like we've lost it. There'll be only one place he'll go. We'll get him and Jones together at the ranch. Come on. Plum Loco waking me up in the middle of my nap. Where are you, Ben? The Raiders are out. Raiders? Why in tarnation did you say so? Get out of the way and let me get on my boots. We gotta stop. They already killed the Congress in the fortress. Who brought the news? I did. I saw it. You saw it and let him get away with it? Where do you keep your guns? Yeah, in that bottom drawer. You sure ain't the man you used to be. <laughs> what a good meeting, Jim. Come on, I'll tell you all about it later.
that, Andy? Uh, no, you dang fool. I'm making mud pies. Uh, I'll have to get a doctor for you. Get me up out of here. Get my horse. We'll go after him. No, no, you can't ride. Don't tell me what I can do. Get my horse. I'll have to get a doctor for you. I can ride. I can. I can. <coughs> there ain't no violence in the world that can kill me. There ain't nobody can. There ain't a bullet big enough. Take it easy, Andy. <coughs> a bullet ain't no bigger than just the end of your finger. I'm a man. The bullet's just a little old chunk of lead. We didn't expect all of these murders, Thorne. Well, what did you expect? You hired me to get rid of the sharecroppers, and I'm doing it. Well, I guess it's all right. I better get over and see Andy. Well, if he ain't dead yet, you'll have a chance to finish him, eh, Doc? And don't forget, stop by the office and let me know. What are you all gawking at me like that for? <laughs> you think I'm going to die? <laughs> Well, I ain't. There isn't any bullet big enough to get you, Andy. You said so yourself. Yeah, that's what I mean. Now, oh, you better try to get some rest, Andy. Rest? I got some talking to do, and I'm going to do it. All my life, I've been telling myself and everybody else what a ripped, snorting son of a gun I was. <laughs> I don't know whether I fooled anybody else or not, but I sure didn't fool myself. You know why I've done it, Billy? No, Andy. Because uh, I'm such a little runt. No, if I, I'd have been a big man, I reckon I'd have been like you. Easy go and afraid of nobody. You're, you're as big as any of us. Ah, uh, don't soft-soap me. I know what I am. Just being a little man, I had to fight everybody to show they couldn't lick me. Uh, did you get them killers? They got away. Mm, I thought they would if I would. Wasn't there. You'll have to get them, Billy. You'll have to run them down. Do the best I can, Andy. You see what I'm up against, Doc? How can I be sure they get them if I, I ain't here? You think I ain't got a chance, don't you? Well, I don't think any ordinary man in your condition would have a chance. But you're no ordinary man, Andy. You might pull through. Maybe you'll never die like ordinary mortals. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I got plans, a parcel of plans. Uh, you through patching me up? Yes. Well, then run along. I, I, I got business to talk with Billy. And you men can clear out, too. There's plenty of work to be done. Not much time to do it. Well, you might fool us, Andy, but I'd try to get a little rest. I'll drop in and see you later. You dang right I'll fool you. Uh, let others, too. Billy, I'll send for my twin brother, Jonathan. He's about my size, that dang little runt. Never mounted that hill of beans. Run out on me years ago, and I've never had anything to do with him since. He, he can help me now. How can he help you? By acting like he's me. Now, listen closely. Here's the way we'll work it. When my brother arrives. Well, how'd you make out, Doc? Andy's pretty bad. I don't think he'll live. What? You left him and he's still alive? I'm a doctor. I try to save lives. You mean you were a doctor? You know, there's a law against practicing medicine without a license. See here, Thorne, you're going too far. Remember, you're working for Bentley and me. You think so? Well, I haven't gone half as far as I'm going. You know, I'm beginning to like it around here. There's going to be some big opportunities when that Jones Ranch is cleaned out. I hear the railroads coming through. New towns will be opening up. New settlers wanting to buy land. So I just thought I'd let you know that I'm dealing myself in, Doc. And if you know what's good for you, You'll take care of Andy Jones before our next meeting. Looks like it's your move, Bentley. I tell you, I stopped by the ranch and he's cleared out. You 
send out a posse. Oh, what would be the use? Had a 24-hour start, decided there's no clues where he went. Are you sure of that? Certainly I am. I don't think he's so far away. I could have you locked up for such talk, insinuating that I'm harboring a criminal, interfering with the Get this thing straight, Bentley. I got a personal score to settle with Thorne and his gang. Either you get him or I will. Jones Ranch? Andy Jones' Ranch. You're Jonathan, aren't you? Jonathan? Uh, well, I reckon I did uh, travel by that handle at one time, but where I come from, they call me Fuzzy. Fuzzy Q. Jones. Uh, I presume you're uh, Billy Carson? That's right. I got Andy's message, so I come sailing down here as fast as I could. Where, uh, what's the trouble? Uh, your brother's been shot. Shot? You know who done it? Yeah. Did you kill a critter? Not yet. You young whippersnappers ain't got sense enough to come in out of the rain. And you been shot and you ain't done nothing about it? Why, I'll have that low-down coyote dangling on the end of a rope before sundown. It's a good thing that Andy sent for me. Where is he? He's in his room. Well, get out of my way. I'm wasting my time talking to you. Yeah, Andy. Sit down. Don't stand there gawking at me. I got some talking to do. You look just like the same new account brother that left me years ago. And you're the same cousin snake hide brother I used to lick. And I can do her again. <sighs> I think you can run this ranch. If you can run it, I can. Well, can you both men? Can you fight? You talk like you was delirious. Tell me who shot you, and I'll show you whether I can fight. What have you been doing all these years since you run out on me? Well, I'm the best dang sheep raiser in the southern part of the state. Sheep raiser? Sheep... Boy, you hear that? Jonathan says he's a sheep raiser. Yeah. Yeah, Andy, I heard it. No wonder you never amount to nothing. Hey, you better rest, Andy. We can talk it over later. I'm going to take a long rest pretty soon. I got things to tell you. Oh, we can let it go to tomorrow. There ain't going to be no tomorrow for me. I got to keep on living and you. You gotta dress like me, act like me, so nobody will know the difference. Because without me, this valley is going to ruin. You understand? Yes, Andy. I understand. Better leave now. Bye, Andy. I was there when the end came. Good. Now we can start some action and take over. Thorne, I want you to understand that Bentley and I are against any more of these killings. I'm giving the sharecroppers a chance to get out peaceful. And if they don't, then we'll have to get rough again. Here, take a look at that. Oh, we just saw him hauling the coffin away from the Jones Ranch house. Well, just checking up, Doc. You know, we can't be too sure that Andy Jones is out of the way. 
Hey, ain't it funny they're burying him in the dead of night? Well, they're probably glad to get rid of the old blister. We're taking over the Jones place, men. Now, here's what I want you to do. You and Madison leave one of these at the Jones ranch. Hmm? Suppose the car can make trouble. If he does, I'll deal with him personally. Get going. Here, you men take these to the sheriff proper. In 24 hours out, we'll have the Jones Ranch in our hands. Not as fast as that. You're forgetting the legal end. You told me you and Bentley had that fixed. And you'd better have it fixed. Well, Andy had no heirs, and if no other claimant shows up, the ranch is, is ours. Providing you still want to stay in. Anybody around? They're probably still out there. Either. Come on, Thorne said to have a look around. Now's a good chance. you and the men carrying out his coffin tonight? Oh, you did. That's what you think. Hey, what's happened to them? They act like they've gone plumb local. From now on, they're going to be plenty more local. You're going to be Andy's ghost. What? Andy's ghost. Come on, we've got to follow him. about Doc saw him die, you saw him haul the coffin away. Yeah, yeah, we saw the coffin, but we saw him. You saw Andy Jones? He, he was there as big as life. Yeah, walked right in the room. You're either drunk or crazy. Andy Jones is dead. You show me this ghost, and I'll show you how quick you'll stop a bullet. <laughs> Look, there he is. 
Look at what? Well, he, he was right there. He, he, he faced against the window. Oh, I know you're crazy. Go on outside. Well, do you still think you saw a ghost? Well, whoever was looking through that window looked like Andy Jones. Well, there's one sure way to find out. Come on, we're riding. Darn's gonna be the hardest one to convince. Convince about what? Andy Jones is still alive. Go ahead. Ghost around here. We'll see what they buried. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Thor. You, you can't do that. Who says I can? Say, they're digging up Andy. Hold it, Fudge. I ain't gonna let them do that. You be quiet and listen to me. Saw these men on all this mixed up in the killings of Andy and the sharecroppers. There's others. We can't show our hands until we find out who they are. I know that that's the way Andy would want it. Maybe you're right. I know I'm right. Now, take a look. Sandy Jones, ain't it? Yeah, Jim, all right. Jim, yeah, all right. All right. Don't give me any more of this ghost stuff about you seeing him walking around. Now, fill it up. Come on, we're riding. and make arrangements for the final cleanup. You fellas wait for me here. Fred, we got to convince him that Andy's still alive. Uh, leave that to me. I don't care what we saw at the grave. I know what me and Madison saw. He come walking right toward us at the house. Yeah. And, and I saw him at the window. <laughs> you boys better change your brand of liquor. <laughs> hey, take a shot of this bourbon, then you'll know you saw a ghost. <laughs> I'm cutting myself in on this deal. 
Well, don't worry. There'll be plenty for the three of us. And we saw him again. Saw who? Andy Jones. He, he came to the hideout. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, Shut up. Did you see him, McGill? Yes. I did, too. I'm through, Thorn. I'm clearing out. Oh, so you want to quit? I ain't fighting ghosts. No, 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 no. Well, if you figure on quitting, Jaeger, I want to make sure you keep your mouth shut. Well, don't worry. I ain't talking. No, I don't think you will. All right, has anybody else got any crazy ideas about quitting? No? Then come on, we've got work to do. Andy Jones dead. Every one of us sharecroppers in the valley got one of these tacked to our door last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got our murder. Yeah. If we don't get out, we'll all be murdered. We want to know if Andy is still alive. What's all the shooting about? I'm well, warming up the trigger finger, getting ready to do a little fancy gunning. It's Andy. The lies. Dog going right on the I'll explain it all to you later, man. Right now we're riding. Go on. This is a showdown, man. We're out to clean up Thorn and his gang. Men, wait here. If we need you, you know what to do. Oh, uh, 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 There's only one of them inside. I'll go in first. Remember what we talked about. I don't know nothing. I think I know a way to make you talk. Hey, look. It's Andy. Andy Jones. Now will you talk? Yeah, keep away from me. I'll tell everything I know. Who are they? Doc. Doc Packett. Keep away from me. Doc Packett, eh? Come on, get out of here. Some of you men take care of him. You sure? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Right here, man. Doc Packet will probably need a little special persuading. Mm. 
Let me get my hands on them low-down critters. I, I know a way to handle him. Jones, are you? Well, I might not be Andy Jones, but I'm one of the Joneses. Who's in this with you, Doc? I know we made a mistake when we joined up with Thorne. He's done a lot of things we wouldn't have done. Who's we? Keep talking. Deputy Sheriff Bentley's with me. We were both against the raids and killings. Thorne did that. Where is he now? He's going to raid the sharecroppers tonight if they don't get off their ranch. Got no time to lose. Come on, you get out of here.
I told you to get Thorne and his gang, Bentley. Now I know why you didn't. You ain't gonna see me until I want you to see me, Bentley. Who are you? You ought to recognize my boys. Remember the last time I talked to you when I was dying in bed? Andy. Andy Jones. Ask him where Thorne is. Where's Thorne? I don't know where he went. You're lying, Bentley. I tell you, I don't know anything about Thorne. Duck Packard confess, and you better if you know what's good for you. I don't know anything. Better make a dang good cover. All right. Packard are mixed up with Thorne. You better tell me where he is. Come on, start talking, Bentley. You're not Andy Jones. You look like him, but you're not. Well, you want to argue that point? You're holding up an officer of the law, whoever you are. Put down that gun, and I'll let you go peaceful. Hey, you're still stubborn. You'll talk when I get through beating that thick skull of yours. Now, where's Thorne? You better talk, or that mug of yours is going to look like a spoiled custard pie. Go on, where is he? Well, he's gone to raid the... That looks like Thorne has been. Trading again. Tell my brother Andy. I've been looking for you. That's quite a coincidence, and I've been looking for you. We've got a little important business to take care of. All right, get your horse. You get mounted.
Where's Puzzy? Thorne and his men have him. They're just heading for the shack. Take care of him. Else feel ambitious? You all right, Fudge? Sure, I'm all right. Twenty more minutes, and I'd have him lick. Take that gun. I told you once I'd have a lot of talking to do, Thorn, when the time came. Get the walk. Go on. Well, Judge, just the peace corner, or anything else that I've forgotten. I find you low-livered hyenas guilty of murder, intent to kill, and kidnapping. And I hereby sentence you to life imprisonment. Why, you're not a judge. You haven't any authority. One more word out of you, and I'm going to fine you ten dollars for contempt of court. From now on, this valley's going to have law and order, and the citizens living here ain't going to be bothered with any killers like you. Take him away, Sheriff.